It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. So, an organization called the ACLU pretty much had this thread just talking about transgender rights and also sports. And I figured for this video, since I have nothing better to do, why not respond to all of this? Now, before I start my response, I first want to state that obviously I'm in favor of the LGBT community. And so everything that I say in this video is not against transgender people. As a matter of fact, if somebody is transgender and is watching this video, I personally want to state that I have nothing against you. However, the various claims that I found in this thread about transgender sports, I found to be questionable. So for this video, I'm going to respond to all four sections because it's really, really funny to me. So let's take out my cell phone right now and see the entire thread for you guys for your own personal entertainment. Four myths about trans people in school sports debunk. I love that word debunk, like every single time like someone says debunk, it's pretty much, you know, debunked, but uh, oh well. Attack on trans youth in sports are showing up in dozens of states, legislators, nor wide. These bans are discriminatory, harmful, and unscientific. Here why. Fact number one, trans girls are girls. Myth, sex is binary apparent at birth identifiable through singular biological characteristics. There is no way to, for our bodies to be women, including women who are transgender, intersex, or disabled, have a range of different physical characteristics. Biological sex and genders are not binaries. There is no set hormone ranges, body parts, or chromosomes that all people, particular sex or gender, have. Wow. So much bullshit already within the first freaking thing. First and foremost, there is a clear difference between men and women. You see, it's not just a physical because women have vaginas and men have penises, but also on a chromosome level because women has XX and men have XY. And so basically from a chromosome level, as well as like a biological level and also our brains and stuff, it's obvious that there's a clear difference between men and women. Also, it's worth noting that the modifier trans means like a person who went from something from X to Y. For example, a person who transitioned from a woman to a man is a trans man. A person who transitioned from a man to a woman is a trans woman. So to me, there's a clear difference between a trans man and a man. There's a clear difference between a trans woman and a woman. So my personal opinion, men are people who are biologically born male. Yes. And of course, a trans man is a person who's biologically female but was born a man. And a woman is a person who was biologically female and, of course, the person who's, like, a trans woman is biologically male, but was, like, you know, turned into, like, a female. So, the modifier trans, to me, signalized that a person had to go through some sort of process to be a certain thing. To say that trans women are, like, women does not, doesn't make any sense to me at all. Alright, let's continue on with this whole entire thread. Fact number two. Trans athletes do not have an unfair advantage in sports. Myth. Trans athletes' psychological characteristics provide an unfair advantage over cis athletes. Trans athletes vary in athletic ability just like cisgender athletes in many states. The very same cis girls who have claimed that trans athletes have an unfair advantage have consistently performed as well or better than their transgender competitors. Are you freaking kidding me? There's a clear biological difference, you see, because men, generally speaking, are way more stronger in comparison to the women, and so it's not to say that there, of course, there's obviously some sort of exception to the rule, and so there probably are some women who are probably stronger than the men, or vice versa, but for the most part, men are stronger than women. There are so many stuff, like basically like these female wrestlers, right, 
they go up against like these uh, trans women, and obviously because the trans woman is biologically male, they pretty much get beaten and have traumatizing experiences because of that whole entire event. Another example is obviously the sport of running. Like basically, you have like this trans woman just running super, super fast, and like all the biological women cannot run just as fast as that trans woman. And so there's clear differences. Very clear differences between a biological man and a biological woman and a trans man and a trans woman to sit there and deny and say like there's like no freaking differences. There's obviously differences. There's obviously, obviously some differences here. Fact number three. Including trans athletes would benefit everyone. Myth. The participation of trans athletes hurts trans cis women, excuse me. Excluding women who are trans hurt all women. It advised gender police saying that it could subject any woman to invasive tests or accusation of being too masculine or too good at their sport to be a real woman. Now, we already established that there are some clear differences, right? Between, like, you know, trans women and women, and trans men and men. So, since there's obviously some sort of biological differences going on right now, here's my two proposals, right? My two personal proposals. Number one, have like the trans men be in the women's team and have the trans women be in the men's team or create a whole entire separate category for trans sports. How about that? How about that for those kind of, you know, stuff? Because that's the only kind of compromise I could possibly think of right now. Because to have like, you know, a trans woman with a woman doesn't make any sort of sense or have a trans man with a man. It's just, what in the world is going to have some sort of chaos and destruction? So, Fact number four, trans people belong on the same teams as other students. Myth, trans students and like need some separate teams. Trans people, like people, may experience uh, effects to their physical and emotional well-being when they are pushed out of affirming spaces and communities. Efforts to exclude subsets of girls from sports can undermine teen unity and youth the most benefits from athletes when they're exposed to caring environments when teammates are supported by each other and by coaches. Again, Noah's making like the argument that trans people can't play sports. I personally have not hurt anyone, myself included, who say that they should not play sports. It's obvious that they should play sports. At the same time, we need some sort of precautionary efforts to make sure that, of course, the biological women are safe, the biological logical men are safe, like, and that everybody is pretty much safe. And so that's why, like I said earlier, we should make a trans sports team or have the people with the biological differences have their own separate teams. That's it. But uh, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.